Ozzy myself, we've uh, joined a direwolf server, and we are trying to basically build our vanilla builds, but with on a modded server. Uh, a lot of times when people play modded servers, they just end up in a hidey hole and uh, build machines and try to get in-game. So I actually want to take advantage of the mods and try to do some interesting things. A lot of new blocks up we can use. Uh, this is one of the little temporary houses that we built. Um, she really likes Pam's Harvest. Uh, this is her kitchen. And uh, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Hell's Kitchen lately, so one of the things I like making is Beef Wellington. So just if you have the ingredients in, you double click it. And it, as you can see, that saturation is insane. So, uh, yeah, she's been having a lot of fun with Pam's, and I've been enjoying her cooking. Uh, it's kind of neat. Every time you open up the items, you can see the little, the food inside. Uh, free water from a sink. Uh, fill up bottles and stuff like that. Uh, what's really neat is in this corner is the uh, milk in a jar, or the cow in the jar. What's really funny is how you make that. Uh, I guess I'll show you. Uh, you have to, <laughs> it's, it's kind of weird, you have to drop an anvil on a cow and squeeze it in the jar. So, um, let me get some stuff. Actually, you can see, yeah, the anvil on cow it goes in jar. So first we need a, a jar. The thing about this cow is it's... It's a cow in the jar, so it's free milk. So, and uh, I think it holds about eight buckets, but it'll replenish its buckets over time. So, it's free milk. Um, it's 2.34 a.m. in the morning, so forgive me. I just wanted to get this quick video out about the uh, server that we were playing on. It's called um, Yes Dog Crafty Craft. It kind of threw me off for a little bit, but it's been a lot of fun. The people are great here. Um, and, uh, they have survival, they have factions, uh, mini games, and of course, uh, Dire Wolf, and that's, that's what we're playing on right now. Grab a few more things. The Golden Lassos are pretty neat. Um, again, once you play modded, it's very hard to go back to vanilla. Uh, this is not Creative Flight, by the way, I do have, uh, uh, angel wings, which took me forever to make. See, my angel ring. You have to capture a gas and capture a bat and um, do a whole bunch of other crazy stuff to make it. Let me get a cow real quick. Again, the as you can see, the little leaves around the house, they were flower oak trees. That, that's awesome. How can you not want more trees? Alright, so... This is how you make a cow in a jar. Place the jar down. You place the cow down. And you drop the handful on its head. <laughs> anyway, I just I wanted to show you that. I thought that was pretty awesome. Um... Wazi and myself, we're known for two of the castles that we tend to build. Uh, we've built one of the castles once uh, and another castle four times, so this will be the fifth time if we get around to building that. Um, it's like a one to two month build. It was uh, at the very beginning of this video that you saw. That's what we did in our last server. And um, we never got to finish it. That's That's the thing, detailing that huge um, building takes forever. Uh, yes, I'm not peeing. This is an EXP drain. So anytime I get a whole bunch of EXP, I drain the EXP so if I die, I don't lose the EXP. Uh, bottled I mean, uh, bottled EXP is used for a lot of different things. So it's nice to have it contained. Uh, yeah, for some odd reason, I chose a fox as my skin, so Elevators are really cool. Don't really need stairs. Uh, this is the EXP drain. As you can see, the EXP goes down the pipe into a barrel, into a faucet. And 
then I uh, get my XP back. It's awesome. How can you not like that? And just let the XP go again. This is uh, the garden. Um, I think Pam's has about 64 different plantable foods. So yeah, um, we've been having a lot, well she's been having a lot of fun with this. But uh, instead of just wheat and beets and carrots and potatoes, um, there's fruit trees. How awesome is that? Uh, this is uh, a sacred oak. It's a really huge tree. It's awesome for decorations. Yeah, and you just right click the, the food, eat the food. Yeah, you don't have that in vanilla. You don't have these cherry blossom trees in vanilla either. Look, just carrots. How boring is carrots? Broccoli's not boring, actually it is. <laughs> I hate broccoli. I don't have much more to say. Like I said, it's 2.42 in the morning. Uh, these are those glow balls. I was, uh, wanted to sh show you guys there. Instead of torches, you just wrap some snow around glowstone dust and you throw it like a snowball and it sticks to wherever you want it to go. Uh, I ran out, so now I'm using these torches. This is the castle that uh, I showed you earlier in the video. Uh, we are recreating it. It's a lot more e it's It's a lot easier and uh, modded to build. Um, builder's wands, uh, flight, um, better range of materials. Last time we built the whole thing out of quartz, which sucked, and vanilla quartz, it, it's, it hurts. This is marble. Marble is more plentiful, but it looks just as nice. Um, of course, our portals, we always use the Tories. But uh, that's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. This is spawn. As soon as you spawn in, um, so welcome to feed the beast. Uh, I really like the vivid grass. It's from Batania. Uh, so far, these the the servers, awesome. Yeah, there's the people here, are really nice. The community's really nice. The you actually see staff around, which is if you. It it took me like two months to shop for a feed the beast server, and all the different servers that I went to, it was it was so dead. Um, but uh, this is this is nice. We've we've been having a lot of fun. So um, I'm gonna wrap this up. I just again I wanted to showcase what we did on our old server. That was a vanilla server. What we're wanting to bring to a modded server. Um, a lot of people, like I said, they when they play a modded server, they find themselves a little hidey hole and they just try to get end game. And we didn't want to do that. We just wanted to use the mods to enhance vanilla. That's that's kind of how we wanted to do it. So, but other than that, um, oh, <laughs> this server is using biomes of plenty, but it also has lost cities turned on. So this was pretty neat. Um, you see these random cities every once in a while. So, and they have a lot of spawners. I mean, it's dangerous to kind of go in with, at the very start. Um, but there also is a lot of chests and hidden stuff, so it, it's it's fun. It has a another set of uniqueness for it. A lot of other servers that I, u I played on, um, they either had biomes of plenty turned off, and they also had um, lost cities um, where you had to make the portal to get the lost cities. So I, I like the these two intertwine. So that was actually a selling point. But uh, other than that, guys, take it easy.